Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a project share and this project share is um, for a swap. Um, I'm doing a swap with Ebony and it's spring themed. So here's what I created. We are limited to a flat rate uh, padded envelope. So whatever we made to have it fit that and be flat and I'm already, I'm busting at the seams a bit. So everything I made is pretty flat. So here is my envelope. It is an acetate envelope. And I used some goodie bags that I've had in my stash for about a year, I think. They are clear, like cellophane spring bags. And I think they're back in Tuesday morning. I actually lined the acetate with that and then created my envelope. So it has more spring vibes to it instead of it just being the clear envelope. And... Um, if you watch me, you know, I don't really do a lot of back toppers and especially for this. I like the look of the clear because everything is so colorful. Um, I was gifted both of these trims by Lady Cree, so I used them. And then this is a chipboard piece um, that I've had, but it's perfect for all the bright colors. So first I have a little note for Ebony and I will show the front of the card. This is how the front of a card looks. This is a silhouette foul. I added some enamel dots. There's a vellum piece and I stamped the sentiment. So that's how that looks. We were to create an A2 size card. I recently showed, um, I recently showed the rain boots with flowers as project share of spring embellishments and then I just added this life is beautiful as a sentiment I used some embossed paper there and um, it, there's like a sage green card base we were also supposed to create four bows a set of four bows so I made these yellow bows I've actually highlighted these bows in one of my cut file Fridays so um, I'll leave a video link to that then we were supposed to create at least two sets of embellishments that contain at least two of each embellishment. And I did a little extra, so I created some chocolate bunnies because it's close to Easter. I used some shimmer brown cardstock. I was inspired by Lady Cree to create these. And then this is just a bow. Both of these are silhouette files. Um, the silhouette file actually has all these bunnies in one cut file. But the bow was from a different one. Um, just some file in my library and i just took the bow from it so those are my chocolate bunnies and they are popped up on themselves i do have some goodies for her so a dye and a bag of these flowers i created pop these off this is my next set of embellishments and these are these little broken eggs i thought they were so cute um, and these are also featured in my cut file Friday, so I'll link that down below so you can go check it out and you'll have all the information for that video or the cut file links with that video. I also highlighted these baskets in my spring embellishment, um, video, so I included those. So I did a little bit extra as far as the embellishment goes and how I have everything sitting in my, um, envelope is with a small piece of foam tape on the bag so these are my flowers we were supposed to create a set of four flowers if i'm not mistaken and i've also highlighted these in my cut file fridays just a couple fridays just go back and you'll see different things and i actually inked the edges of these with some pigment ink by avriel they these um are mums I think it's supposed to be mums so these this is how it's actually supposed to go with the petals up and then I already created these two with the petals down and they have like lighter ink on the edges <laughs> before I realized how they were supposed to be and then we were also supposed to create a set of two three by three cards so here is the first one and I used all elements from my silhouette so I used the pattern I cut out, um, I printed and cut it, and then as well as these stickers, I printed and cut these as well to keep my cards flat. I'm trying to um, 
I've been trying to learn layering, but I also want to learn, you know, you don't have to always over embellish. It's Sometimes it's nice to just have flat things. So if someone wants to attach this in some mail or something, you don't have to worry about some extra charge. And this is the second one. Just excuse the foam tape there. And this again is, um, I created the bloom, typed it out and had it cut typewriter style. Um, and then this is a sticker and they are matted on the inside and I created the envelopes as well using my silhouette and then we also were supposed to um, include some trim so that is in this uh, little envelope and this is one of the coordinating images that went with this um, set that for my silhouette and then these are more goodies just some flowers and then this is a little goodie and then I have goodies in the rest of the envelope. There's not really a lot of room. Like I said, I pretty much stuffed the envelope as much as it can be stuffed. Um, so that doesn't leave a lot of room for like packing with goodies and stuff because we were supposed to stick to a flat rate envelope. So we'll see um, if I add anything else or make anything else fit. But right now, I am barely getting the flat rate envelope to close. So again, this is what I created for Ebony for our little spring swap that we did. I'll just figure out how some of this stuff goes because not everything was foam taped down. So now I'll pop things in, try to add some dimension. I want everything to show so it'll look something like this when she receives it all right sorry for all the rustling all right so that's all that i have thank you for watching and have a good day